dear viewers, we are at the U.S. American Embassy in Zambia at their mission here in Ibex Hill. We are here to deliver a memorandum of demand, demanding that um, the Zambian government and the U.S. government publish details of the two MOUs, number one on, on AFRICOM and the second one on EV battery value chain. So we are here with the senior leaders, uh, but we'll speak in this for Senator Jim Rich. Well done, Senator, for telling us things that President Haga in the has always wanted to hide. Mm. You are a brave Senator. Mm. And Zambian members of parliament emulate mm. Jim Rich. Tell the truth all the time. No matter how painful it is, tell it as it is. Jim Rich disclosed the whole international community that they had a boy in Zambia called Haga Inde Hijirema who was going to fight to wage a war against what uh, America considers the intrusion of China in Africa. Well done Jim Rich because we have always wondered why in this country Haga Inde Hijirema has not been willing to disclose the contents of the meetings he's been having whenever he travels. Jim Rich did well by informing us that actually Haga Inde is uh, being used in this geopolitical space. That he is going to stand up and fight China. As Zambians, we get extremely concerned by this. And this reminded us of the fact that in April this year, the Americans, not the Zambian government, but the American government disclosed to the international community that they had entered into an agreement, into an MOU with Zambia to establish the AFRICOM. Why were we given that information by America and not by the Zambian government? As Patriotic Front, by the end of April 2022, we politely wrote to President Haga Inde Hijilema asking him to make a full disclosure of that MOU. Unfortunately, to date, President Haga Inde has not done what any civil servant is obliged to do, to respond to any letter written to the presidency or to government by any citizen. Arrogance. He has chosen to keep quiet about it. So we thought this is another opportunity for us to come to the Americans and say, since you are the ones who told us that you entered into an MOU with Zambia on the AFRICOM, can you give us full disclosure? What is contained in that MOU? Over and above that, it also reminded us of the fact that when President Haga Inde was in the United States of America, he and his counterpart, President of Congo, Chisekedi, were standing behind their ministers, supervising their ministers as they were signing an agreement. And this agreement is to do with the 21st century minerals, minerals for the future. Cobalt, copper, nickel, lithium. Now, these are the minerals that Africans must jealously guard. And we have seen that there are African countries such as our sister Zimbabwe, where the government of Zimbabwe has said there is nobody who's going to be allowed to export these minerals, especially not lithium, because they know that this, these materials, these minerals, are the minerals that are going to engineer the growth of any economy going ahead. Yes. Now, why is it that President Haga Inde went and signed that agreement without even bringing it to the Zambian parliament. Sure. The parliamentarians of Zambia do not have an idea what is contained in that agreement. Now, because it was signed with America, and because we know that the American law allows for any American authority to disclose such public information, that's why we've come to American territory. We are here demanding disclosure by the American people based on American law. Because when we try to apply Zambian law, Haga Inde will hide behind, no, there is no uh, freedom of access to information. But for the Americans, access to information is a right. Mm. And we as Zambians have a right to demand that Americans must make a full disclosure on that MOU. Whereas all of us in Zambia are suffering, we are also at a loss to imagine how Zambia under Haga Inde Hijilema is actually losing its sovereignty. And this is a big issue. Yes, my colleagues are talking about electricity, about lack of drugs and so on and so forth. But what is even more important is our own freedom.
Mm. Our forebears fought for independence because they wanted us to govern ourselves. Mm. And now we are giving our sovereignty. Now we are allowing Americans to dictate upon us. Mm. Now America is telling us which, people, which countries to be friends and which countries to be enemies. We demand that this information is made public. Mm. Yes. Yes, my colleagues have spoken about electricity, yes. When we have a shortage of electricity, you expect a responsible parent to say, I am not going to give away the little silver or the little sugar that my yeah. children have to mm -hmm. eat. It is only a very responsible parent mm -hmm. who would want to please people outside at the expense of their own children. Mm -hmm. And you say, if we can't cancel these agreements, when we produce more electricity, there will be no market. My foot, why would you even think that you're going to produce more electricity if your citizens who have perished because they have no electricity, they have no jobs? What kind of warped thinking is this? But I want to say that all this is because of the IMF agreement. It is nothing to do with Zambia. It is all to do with the IMF conditionalities. And we also demand that the IMF agreement must be made public. Let us read the content of that IMF bailout package. Yes. For them to be bragging and saying the PF failed over seven years and we managed over two months. Yes, you managed over two months because you're not responsible mm. and you're not caring of Zambian people. Mm. The yes. Patriotic Front refused to sign that agreement because we did not want to give away our sovereignty to mm. the IMF. Mm. Now we have also heard that America has pledged $55 million through the IMF to go to African countries. Why is the American government not giving that money directly to the African countries? Why are they using the IMF? Mm. How capture, come? To capture. Because they want to capture Africa. Mm. And we stand firm. Today on the 23rd of December in the Lord's year 2022, we in the Patriotic Front, together with our colleagues in the opposition political parties, are saying no to the selling of Zambia's sovereignty. Mm. No. We heard President Hagainde bragging <laughs> that in the previous not. regime there was a war between Zambia and Congo and that he went and negotiated that and it ended. Can he also disclose what has happened to the borderline? Mm. Hasn't he given away part of Zambia? What agreement has he entered into with Chisekedi? Because for us, we had already started those negotiations. What is it that he agreed with Congo? For us, we made it public that yes, there was an issue there. We had to protect Zambia's integral integrity and territorial integrity. But for him, he says, we negotiated. Can you please disclose? We want him to tell us what is the content of the agreement he entered into with President Shisekedi over the border line without bringing it to the attention of Parliament. Yes. All these questions must be asked. And I'd like, my dear fellow citizens, join these people that you see here. Join the people who are here this morning because these are the ones who are patriotic. We are patriotic to an extent where we are willing to be arrested, we are willing to be jailed, we are willing to lose our lives because our forebears lost their lives to protect Zambia. We cannot watch Zambia being given away by an individual purely because he wants to get praise. And when he hears Europeans praising him, then he thinks, I, he even goes to the extent of saying, other people are asking me how I've managed. My God. There have been African presidents who have said before, the moment you hear a Muzungu, the moment you hear an American, the moment you hear a Westerner praising you as president, yeah, you should I'm know that checked. they have captured you. Yeah, yes. so, so for them, Jim has told us that actually Haga in the Hidden is captured. captured. Mm. Now, if our president is captured, mm. where will we go? Mm. The best is to say, Buana. Leave. Go and continue to receive personal praise mm. from Americans, but not at the expense of Zambians. Mm. Yes. There are many other Zambians who are capable of performing the function mm. you are failing to perform. Even better. We can do it even better than you are in mm. Mm. So if you want to receive praises, please leave that job. Mm. Continue to be a motivational mm. speaker and go and speak in Washington. Mm. Go and speak wherever you want but don't betray the sovereignty of Zambia. Mm -hmm. This is something that we are willing to die for. Yeah. Our forebears died for this country mm -hmm. and we're willing to lay our lives mm -hmm. for the sake of our future generations. Mm -hmm. We do not want to be blamed by our grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Where were they when Zambia's mm -hmm. sovereignty was no, sold? Mm -hmm. We want to be there to stand on the right mm -hmm. side of history. So please, mm -hmm. Americans, I would like to say to you, 
Michael Gonzalez. Welcome to Zambia. I haven't had the opportunity at all to welcome you, but now mm -hmm. I'm saying welcome to Zambia. And you have come to a sovereign state. Yes. And we demand that you as ambassador of the United States of America mm -hmm. cause for full disclosure on the issues we have raised. Mm -hmm. We want the MOU on the Africa. Mm -hmm. Release it to the public of Zambia as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. We want you also to make a full disclosure mm -hmm. on the MOU that was entered into recently in Washington mm -hmm. by President Haga and President Chisekedi. Mm -hmm. We want to know what you have agreed about our mineral resource. Mm -hmm. Those mineral resources are not for Haga in the Egypt. Right. Those are for Zambians. Yes. And Zambians are protected by the institution called Parliament. Mm -hmm. Unless Parliament expropriates money, mm -hmm. no one is allowed to. Mm -hmm. If they cannot expropriate money, how come they can expropriate minerals mm -hmm. without going to the representatives mm -hmm. of the people? Mm -hmm. Let the Zambian Parliament be told yes. what they entered into. What agreement is this? Mm -hmm. Failure of which we shall also say that the Americans are complicit mm -hmm. in trying to create another America in Zambia. Mm -hmm. We yeah. don't want them to govern us. We want to govern ourselves. Yes. We yeah. fought for independence from the British, mm -hmm. not for Americans to come and govern mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. No, but to govern ourselves. For all of you, my dear brothers and sisters, Merry Christmas. I know it is not going to be merry for a lot of us, but all I can say is let us pray to God that come 2023, probably the Holy Spirit may enter some of these people who are selling our Zambia sovereignty and they start to realize that it is God who bestowed this country upon us. Mm. It is God who allowed us to have our independence in 1964 and nobody must take that independence away from us. Yeah. We must continue to be a sovereign state. Right. Yes. This is very important. Mm. I want to use these words. This is very important. Yeah. Very important. Mule <laughs> kutika. <laughs> very important. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Um, <laughs> Pakarambanga nshi kukusefi ya nshi kunkulu ya Christmas, nshi kunkulu ya New Year, mulia ya mulia ya ma condition tulimo. Chavula nda chine chine. No mbai chwe mbai chitila Ukuli lila kushiri no ko kone milomo Eee mm -hmm. chwe fatu ya isa pano Kuli lila no mba kuli tata tata nani tumu ishire Ushe tata niyo uletila kutina ashitisha malaiti Kwa nkanyi eni poku chula Ushe tata niyo uletila te mula andu Nanguta kuli imi timuchipatala Kwa nkanyi eni po fie muli fio fine Ule ui ne chilo lona vika kulia e Chilo lo ubo, ubo mbesha nganshi Chabula nda Ichi pesha mano. Kwena, ichibe mbachi imecha tuwebo kutila. Ukusushe lungu, kwenda mo. Mm -hmm. Elo kabili, uku pesha chibola. Mm -hmm. Uku na perela pope. <laughs> Kupe, bandu kutiba teyo, mulela nde, chibe mbachi moka tushefo mulela nda. Uku pesha chibola, kumo swela. Pako ya bati, muke se mui pusha wino kutila. Kwena, tuwa liku peri ama facility yonse, nomba. Amari za uti ya likuwe saa. Itirele ngo kwe vati walipo kere ama facility. Noku ya buwemfia wa ya buwemfia wino. Chiri ya likuwe saa. Fuwe vantu muno chalo tule chula. Tule chula. Echuwe ntungulu shi. Shatila. E limbi tata. Tete ya tupose kwa mano. Katuwe lila kuli tata wawa nensu. Pako ya vati ya tuwa suke. No mba cha tutu wala mkula ya no mba mkuli vila kuli tata wabambi Uishi wabambi Pantu pano te pati tata tuishi Nipari uishi wabantu bambi Pano nipachalo chimbi Epo tuwaisa mkuli vila pako ya tivi mbikuwe na Lala tuwasuka Ushe chalo chesu cha zambia Tuwala chisuminisha ukukonka nyapo Ukuya mudi hii nenshila Echi ipusha tule ipusha Elio mule ilisha nyamwewe na Zambia Intu unguru shenu shile umfua No kusumina tule sumina Mbabati lo wunga na kuchilamo mutengo mm. Na ifuwewe ne e wunga tushita tulamona mm. Nga mwatila ma transport kwe na ya nina Inana alimuli basi ni mwuri abushiku Na afumine pa North Midu kuisa mtauni Na isa tina na kuchile njo konjika La mwuri mini basi Ni mo na li umfu ila na matu ya ndi Na li mwena na menso ya ndi Efi abantu bale chula muisa Mwuri chino chalo Mwen tungulu shi mwebo tuwa sadire. Mwebo tuwa pela makaya kutungulu la chino chalo. Chite nipo chimo. Aba nituwa rafa kunsana. Na atashaka na wisi. Na atashaka na wisi. Ukola we'll upon the binoculars. <laughs> if you can speak in Tonga to <laughs> our people briefly. <laughs> just on our end of your message. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the Saka Msazanda which we are celebrating <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> and New Year. Jagutangu nandu. Andakuru Baba. Kurumbaba acting president. 
Butwa sindi kila kuno Wemba siya wa Wa maguwa wa Amerika Kutuwa kore wa buye Ena madi Pena zambi nguwee Dugu bireha Jindi ja Christmas Waga inda waga siya kwa Amerika Na jaga wa buti Soto wa buwa wala kutu buye Windy Ramli wa acting president Badi jana chumba ni mbuli mbwa mbwa, fanya zuma wa kurumte, wa kumporo koso, ababa wa juu kujipata. Tunagunua menda, jindi ya Christmas, anuye, kamba utigati, kuto e dogo vile hatu, turega gugu, ture turaisi, wiyamboto wale kuri kuri yaga jindi jengwa, gonye na pe. Soto ambira ba yaga jindi itire maguti, no mudiya, agunua. Abaga intuven, bamo tinta. Mwehibe kutanze kuno, ili shupita hitu. O mumu garinga ringa. Mumu tendere. Mwunke kujisoka ni market. Kujimuemu. Mwunke kudambu, kuurivingstone. Mwunke kumonze. Mwunke kumongu, kujipata. Christmas wantu wanagunywa, menda, nsima, menda asautu. Dijina kujitika, jindija Christmas. Kamba wa kutinyo mwa pamari Uwa maguwa Onoto andakubu ya wa maguwa uti Ino nyo mwa mwenye na Madi eno Komo zwa kwa Amerika utungore Mutarika kubile ya mwenye so uno Utabe papet Uwe mbubamba mchikuwa Chitwa vora kubu ya Muzika